Hey guys, uh, Chris Gill here. So this is going to be uh, not if you're if you're normally on this channel, this is uh, a fishing channel, but uh, I am going to talk about something else today, and um, that's going to be my surgery for my was it ACDF, I believe it is. It's called basically I'm getting a spinal fusion uh, on my neck, uh, so I'm only doing C, I believe it's four and five, uh, but I'm also having carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, surgery on my right hand, my dominant hand at the same time. One thing I never see, and I, I've looked and looked and looked, and nobody has done a video on the recovery of uh, of both of those at the same time. Um, so I'm making this video. Uh, this is going to be pre going in. I've got five days, and I'm going in to surgery, and I'm, I'll be flat honest with you, I'm scared to death. Um, I guess you know the fear of the unknown. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make this this video here. And um, I'm also gonna do a one week follow up, a two week follow up, three week, uh, all the way through six weeks, and uh, kind of let you guys follow me on it. Uh, for my normal subscribers, uh, you may want to see it, but I I'm doing this more for um, my normal subscribers. You, you guys may want to see this, kind of keep an update, but uh, I'm doing this more for other people who are looking into having this surgery and and curious as to what um how it's gonna be for them all that good stuff so let's just talk about right now fears my fears um you know i'm in i'm in pain uh right now but <laughs> I, i'm gonna be honest with you i'm sitting here going man at what point how long after the surgery does it take for me to equal um, to, I guess to get to, to get to the point where I'm in the pain I am now. So is this four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, two months? I don't know the answer to that, and um, I guess that's a fear of mine. So I'm going under the knife, and um, you know, from a a fishing channel, uh, I kind of look at it as being filleted open. Um, that's fear. It's a fear. Um, the other fear is going to be wearing that dang neck brace for six weeks um, it just kind of seems uh, what's the word I'm looking for not constraining I mean it is gonna be constraining but uh, I, I'm hoping I don't have a panic attack uh, because I'm I feel like I'm in a in tight closed space Whew, I don't know man we're gonna find out um, uh, preparation wise I think I've done uh, everything that I know to do that I've read I've read so many different things so many different people have different experiences and all I can say is I hope mine is um, a good one like some of these people have I've seen people after you know one week doing uh, or just running around the house and having a great time when well, I say a great time but you know running around the house doing their normal stuff um, for me it's gonna be a little different uh, maybe I can be mobile even if 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 the next surgery does well I'm still without my right hand, my dominant hand for well, I don't know how however long it takes. I mean, they say they say an eight-week recovery on the hand. Uh, plus, if it's your dominant hand, it could be up to two months, three months, depends on what you're doing with it. Um, I fish, I do security work, so I'm gonna have to be able to um, to be able to shoot. So, uh, what what everyone else is is talking about about you know having a hard time sleeping. I have to sleep in a recliner. Um, yeah, I've just got that extra thing compounded on there, meaning uh, my hand. Um, so I gotta not only worry about my neck, but I'll have to worry about my hand. But I've talked to a few people, and this is a very common thing now, more so now than it used to be. And nobody has made a video that I can find. I cannot find a video on both of these surgeries together, whether it be your dominant hand or your non-dominant. So that's why I want to make this, um, just to kind of go over my process. 
uh, what I have to do. But let's see, I'm jumping around, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm nervous. I can't even think uh, straight. Um, I just wish the surgery would just get here, uh, have it done, and uh, start re my recovery. Not driving for six weeks? Oh, my gosh. I'm already trying to figure out how to, if my hand is good in three to four weeks, can I get somebody to pick my boat up <laughs> and throw me in the boat and just use a trolling motor to go fishing? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at all these options. Um, but I, I, don't, I just don't know how it's going to go. But anyway, back to preparation. So, so I, you know, I'm probably being a little more cautious than most people are. Uh, for the simple fact that I, uh, with both these surgeries going on, and apparently both of them are, at least the hand surgery is kind of painful from what I understand, especially afterward, um, I don't want to fall. Um, it's instinctive when you fall, you, you put both hands out, but normally your dominant hand, that is my right hand, the one I'm having surgery on, so um, I just do not want to risk falling. So I got a shower chair in my shower. I already had it, didn't go buy one. Um, if it's something you think you need a lot of people will have them um there's you can probably put a thing out on facebook and and borrow one from somebody because you don't need it for a long time um you just for that short amount of time when when you can't um do things by yourself and you don't want to risk falling uh i got a tile shower so but it's a large shower so it's not like i'm i'm just i can squeeze into a a, a corner and you know, it's just, it's a large walk-in shower, so I just want to be safe. I uh, also installed one of those, um, uh, it's a shower head, and then it has the the hand part that comes out. So at the time when I can finally get in the shower, which I don't know exactly when that will be. I'm not sure how, I can't remember how long it is before you can get your stitches wet and stuff. But the thing is, I can at least hold my, this is my left hand, but I can hold my right, my right hand up and um and probably get myself wet from you know bottom i love how to shower guys I shower every day it's something i want to do i feel a heck of a lot better and anyway so that just gives me that ability to uh to be able to take a shower probably a little more than uh some people if they just have a normal shot normal shower head you can get them at lowe's pretty cheap i think i spent 10 bucks on mine and it works good i installed it yesterday um i'm ready to take it out just because i don't want it in there um, don't want to have to have that option, but it comes with a little uh, bracket that holds it. I just put it down, uh, uh, kind of installed it down on the bottom, it sticks to the, the tile, and it's down close to the to where I'm sitting, so uh, makes it nice and easy. So shower chair, I've got a shower head, um, got a recliner. My uh, my mom had surgery uh, about a year ago, and so I'm going to borrow their recliner that is power. The only problem is everything is a right-handed power. The cord is long enough, I think, that I can use it with my left hand. If not, be ringing the bell for my wife to come get me out of bed or out of, out of, the, out of the recliner. Uh, I've heard a lot of people saying they can sleep in their bed. Um, I'm not going to risk it right at the beginning just because I do have a hand that's going to be sore as heck and a neck. And uh, we got animals that will jump in bed with us, so I will be on the couch, um, sleeping there, uh, on the recliner rather, sleeping there at least for, at least for the first week is what I'm thinking. Um, got a couple of those pillows that, that basically wrap around your neck, so kind of helps you out to uh, to keep yourself straight. I, I'm a side sleeper, and uh, I can't sleep on back, but. Guess you get tired enough or you're going to so anyway these are some of the concerns i have some of the fears um i mean quite honestly i've lost uh five pounds this week just because i've, I've been so nervous and and haven't eaten um i actually had to make myself eat last night um i'm sure it'll be fine uh just trusting god i uh, heard a song today that said uh uh what was it the the things I fear, fear you, Jesus, basically, um, which is true. So I've got to, I've got to give it to him and just trust that I've got a great surgeon. Everything's going to go well and uh, go from there. So anyway, guys, I will be updating you um, as I go through this process. 
So, uh, like I said, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and I may go past that. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at six as a goal because six is when I supposedly can get this stupid neck brace off and I'll be able to drive again. So I'm, I'm, I kind of feel like I'm in jail. Um, I'm going to call my neck brace uh, Max for Maximus because that sounds like a good Roman jailer that's keeping me in jail. Um, so uh, anyway, I hope you guys get some benefit out of, out of what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, man. All right, y'all have a good day.